I scored an Hermes quota bag and it will be the last and only one that I ever own. So I hope that you stick around to hear my story and why this will be the only Hermes quota bag that I will ever own. I got this bag recently and I'm so stoked. It's a super popular style, color, size, and I paid retail for it. So I hope you stick around. My name is Cynthia Rose. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. I post videos weekly and I just love to hang out with you guys. And this is a real luxury girl account. YouTube gives me so much flexibility to like provide you with real and unaltered opinions about things. So here we go. So I have been playing and considering playing the Hermes game for a year and a half, two years on and off. And I have been to multiple boutiques and worked with multiple essays. Obviously, that's not the game plan that Hermes has manufactured for me <laughs> to do. Um, and, and I was, you know, ultimately hoping to get a quota bag at the end of the day because like paying retail is so much better than paying secondhand prices. Secondhand prices, obviously, as you might know, are probably two to three times generally what the bag cost um, at retail in varying conditions. So if you can get a bag from the boutique and know that it's first off authentic, you pay the retail price and you know that you have some investment value in it, like that's a win-win situation. However, because Hermes has the Hermes journey or the Hermes game, generally speaking, you have to spend 1.5 to three to five times what the bag, bag um, costs in order to be offered your dream bag and you will likely not even get the color or style that you want you kind of get what you get and I decided um, at a certain point that I did not want to play this game anymore because every time that I went to an Hermes boutique I'd be a few thousand dollars poorer <laughs> and I always kind of had the ick and I thought as I thought about that more I um you know, I did a little bit of research and I, you know, really like dove deep into like my feelings about the whole situation. And I realized that I was kind of getting this like pretty woman effect, right? Because the brand wasn't picking me, I was trying to get the brand to pick me. Like I was being a pick me girl with Hermes and I was like, ew. So <laughs> I, I, as I examined those feelings, I did a little bit of research and it's actually a well-documented, there's a well-documented study that talks about how aspirational brands that deny their customers like certain like, like access to items and materials within their business um, will actually improve sales across the, the organization. And so what Hermes does is denies you so that you will spend more money so that Hermes can pick you, so that you can be chosen. And this is like a fun game, I guess, for like the ultra wealthy, but for someone like me, like I'm just a hobbyist, like I just enjoy them and they are going to be part of my permanent collection that I, and I'm gonna use them. Like this game doesn't really work for me because there is no clear path. And it's designed that way. It's designed that way so that only like, you know, so that it feels super exclusive. It feels super scarce and you just feel like you have this big investment like that going forward. But like in the, in reality, it's all just manufactured. And so what I decided to do was decided to buy pre-loved and I paid retail for this. I got so lucky. Rebag was running a deal on their Poshmark um, site for a little while and I jumped on it and I'm so glad I did because I got the best bag. Um, it's less than 10 years old. It's in super popular color and style. Um, and I'm gonna show you, show you this in just a second. Um, so I hear a lot of stories about the Hermes journey and like, you know, we always hear a lot of horror stories and like the ick. And whenever somebody like has a positive experience at the boutique, it immediately goes viral. And I think that it's kind of staged and it will be like on a, some kind of like, you know, intermittent schedule that somebody will get lucky, you know, based on the boutique, the day and what's in stock, because like it allows the company to give people hope that they could be the chosen one. Something about them is super special or significant. And I don't really think that's the case. So here's my bag. It is a Birkin 30 in Togo leather with palladium hardware. And it came with a full set. So I have the clochette, the keys, the lock is here. Um, it came with the dust bag or the, 
It came with a raincoat, never been used. And it also came with, oh, the receipt. Or the, um, the sales, the sales, the business. Hold on, there we go, there it is. This bag is from Japan. And um, so yeah, it came with the, the sales associate card um, and the location of where the bag was sold. This bag came from Japan and was you know sold to Rebag at some point and now sold to me. So Rebag had um, was running these deals anywhere from 20 to 30% off and they had recently lowered the price of this bag and then they sent me an offer for 20 to 30% off, or I don't remember exactly, I think it was 25% off, and I paid retail for this bag. The condition code is excellent. Um, there is literally nothing wrong with it. It is in almost perfect condition. The only thing that I can see is a little bit of rubbing on the hardware here, but that's it, like nothing else. There's no indentations, there's nothing wrong with the bag besides a little bit of hardware. Um, scratching, which is normal. Like that is normal if somebody wears their bags. When Zidutu actually found out that I got this bag, she sent me an organizer for free and it was my first ever PR and she literally hand made it in black for me so that it would match my bag. And I'm literally so grateful. I'm gonna link her information down here. Like couldn't recommend this organizer like more. It is literally so perfect. If you look at the stitching, not a stitch out of place. And it's in the satin material, which I absolutely adore. So continuing on with the Hermes game, the ultra wealthy have already been chosen in life. And so this is just a fun game for them to, you know, like see how many Birkins and Kellys that they can put in their closet and display on social media. For regular people, like that's not going to be reality. Regular people may buy one, one of these bags in their life, just like me, and like, you know, love it and enjoy it as a lifetime piece. So playing the Hermes game is not for all of us and maybe we should just buy our bags pre-loved and look for great deals like this because this is not the only great deal on the market and there's so many more to be had. If you guys like real girl luxury with like honest opinions, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button because I'm so happy to be here with you guys and I can't wait to show you like how this bag wears and tears with me over my lifetime and I'm gonna keep you updated on taking it to the spa and how it goes like in wear and tear in my real life because like I have no incentive to tell you anything other than the truth and I hope that you like this so please make sure you like and subscribe to my channel and I post videos weekly. Ciao!